Hello everyone, I'm Ludo and in this video we'll show you how to use the layout tools in Nova. The layout features let you organize your items inside screens and containers and that you determine how they behave if the size of the container or the screen is changed. The first feature that we will see is constraints. Constraints determine the position of an item inside the screen and how it is affected when the size of the screen changes. I can see the constraints in a details panel after selecting an item. In this case, the constraints of both items are set to be left and top, which means that if I resize the screen, the distance between my item, the left and the top, will stay the same. You can see now the difference if I change the constraints to the bottom to be right and bottom. But when we design the screen of an app, we usually have a lot of items that we have to organize. With Nova layout features, you can create designs that can adapt automatically by distributing the objects in columns and rows. Columns and rows give you the control over the alignment of your children, the spacing between them, and different sizing options to control the dimension. By playing with these options, you can achieve designs that adapt automatically, like this one. Now we'll show to you how to do something like this. Let's start by drawing a container and the items inside it. Now that we have all our widgets, we can organize them in columns and rows. Let's start with these two. This icon and this text are next to each other on an horizontal axis, so I can put them inside the row. To do so, I select both of them, I press Ctrl G or right click Group, and now my items are inside the group. To decide the direction in which my items will be organized, I can go here and select horizontal or vertical. In this case, I want horizontal. Now my items are inside the row. And now I have more options where I can pick from. In this specific case, I want the distance between this icon and this text to stay the same. So the spacing will be set to fixed, and here I can set a value. Now, if I resize this row, this distance will not change. I also want to be sure that the length of the row will not take more space than the two children. And to do so, I can go here and change it to auto. I can do the same with the height. Let's also put these three items inside the row. In this case, I want the spacing between the items to stretch in order to fill the entire length of the row. To do so, I can go to the spacing and select between. Now, if the row is resized, the spacing changes too. But this is not quite right yet because instead I want the spacing between these two items to not vary if the row changes size. To achieve this, I can select these two widgets and put them into a row. I can reorder the elements inside the row by simply drag and drop them. Now I want this space to be fixed and the length of the row to be auto. Now I have two rows on the top of each other, which means that I can select them and put them inside the column. Let's select everything, group, and decide for the vertical alignment. We can change the alignment of my column here. As you can see, the container that I had before now behaves as a background for my column. And I can go here and modify it as I want. Now we want to have some space here, and to do so, we can add some padding. Let's go to the wrappers and select padding. We can reorder the wrappers depending on what we want to achieve. In this case, we want to put the padding above the container. I can change the value of my padding here. Now I have something that is more similar to the original design. But as you can see, if I resize it, it still doesn't behave as I want. Let's fix this. I want the width of this row to change when the width of the column changes. To do so, I go to the sizing option and select expand. 
I also want the space between the two rows to expand if I change the height of the column. To do so, I select the column and I change the spacing options to between. I will make it now a component. Now I can duplicate my card, select both of them, Ctrl G, and select the column. Let's add a black background. To do so, we add a container as a wrapper. Let's also add some padding. And now I want to add more children inside this column. To do so, I can go here and select another number. To make sure that all my children are contained inside the column, I can change the size to be auto. Let's also add some title. I can drag my text inside the column and change the alignment. Now when I resize my column, my children inside of it don't change size. Instead, I want them to stretch when I change the width. To do so, I select them and choose to expand. I want the same to happen also if I resize the height of my column. So now I want to also put the height of these cards to be expand. Now that my design is ready, you can see how easy it is to organize the items. I can select them and move them. I can also select the column and change the order from here. Go in Nova and play around with these features. Show me the design that you create and I will see you in the next tutorial.